Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is IBN Ace Gaming and in this video I want to show you the location of 10 hidden places around the world of Anthem. Now before you go crazy on that comment section below and tell me that these are not hidden places, no they are actually named hidden places. If you look on the bottom um, right corner of the map you will find their landmarks, hidden places and etc. Now in these hidden places if you go inside obviously you can find a lot of uh, elite bosses, um, craftable items, a uh, what's it called materials as well so there, there's so much that you can uh, you can find and it, to be honest it just feels like it's extra content for for anthem i know most of you just go around the world of anthem do um uh, world events or legendary contracts legendary missions uh, strongholds but i feel like these uh, these hidden places are a bit forgotten so i want to to give you the location of, of 10 of them and uh, if you want to just go there, play them, they're quite nice to be honest. Now keep in mind, some of them you might already have them on your on your world map, some of them you might not, because they will only appear or show up on your, on your world map if you go near them. For example, I didn't have the dungeon because I never went to that part of the map, uh, but when I looked for it, it was there. Now again, they will not show up unless you actually go near the location, um, and then they will they will show up on your on your radar thingy. With that being said, let's um, let's go into it. The first one I want to talk about is the dungeon, as I mentioned before. Uh, now this one, it's all the way at the edge of uh, of the map. It's in the Fortress of Dawn, as you can see right here. If you look at the edge, you will you will find it. Now what you want to look for is one of these um, towers. Uh, you will see, if you will see one, you will see the others as well. Go all the way to the last tower at the edge of the map and you should see an entrance right here on the right. If you go straight ahead, that's the, the dungeon. Now inside, to be honest, is really, really beautiful. I actually like this is one, I like it a lot. This is one of my favorite because it feels like I'm discovering an old tomb, something forgotten, you know, full of dust everywhere. And it actually looks like a dungeon. Um, but I will let you discover more. Obviously, as I mentioned in the in the um, previous part, uh, you can find lots of uh, materials, um, enemies, and so forth. But I will let you explore the rest. The next one is the vault. Now, the vault, it's in the sunken garden, gardens. This one, it's a bit more difficult to actually access it. Um, if you go on Ruins of Shadow Mark, you will find the entrance because it's underwater. Uh, you will just have to go straight ahead. It's a bit difficult to show exactly where I am. Uh, I'm trying to show, for example, I use that massive cliff just behind me as a point of reference. Um, but try to aim for for one of these structures on my right, these uh, these ones. As soon as you see one, you will see all the structures because they're all in one place. So this one, if you go straight underwater, and you need to go all the way to the bottom of the of the lake. Um, now, a good thing about this one is here you also have the location for the um, the clam before the storm uh, quest. Uh, that's like 800 gold, well, coins, coins um, are free. Uh, so just, you can look for that as well. Keep in mind, you can only complete it with the storm. Now, what you need to do, as I mentioned, go all the way to the bottom of the um, um, of the little lake or whatever this is. There's a few chests in the area. There, there are a few chests and everything, a few co um, collectibles, not much, but you should see this structure right here. So when you see it, um, in Ruins of Shadow Mark, you just go straight through it. Um, it takes about, well, let's say, 30 seconds journey just underwater to get there. Um, it's it's not that easy. But once you once you go there once, you'll find it 100% easy, more uh, in an easier way uh, next time. So let me just go all the way. I don't want to cut it because if I do, then you'll be like, oh, how did he get there? So I'm just going to leave it like this and actually go and show you the, the all the way. I should, uh, I should reach around here. It's a dead end, but you should go up. So once you go up, now you will actually see the entrance to, to the vault. It's right here. Of course, you can look for the chests around the area. Uh, most of these locations, they have uh, collectibles, quite, quite a few of them, um, and, and chests. But um, pretty much that, that was it. Dominion has prisoners. We can help 
Moving on, we have the sovereign mine. Now, the sovereign mine it's just in front of the in front of the vault or across it or next to it or behind it, however you want to put it. Uh, but it's it's next to it. Now you should see this massive lake. Don't worry, the entrance is not in the lake. It's just next to it. It's right here. Uh, so as soon as you come out from the vault, if you are there already, just look for look for the sovereign mine, uh, and you should find it easily. Now inside here, it looks like uh, well, like a mine really, but it, mostly it's abandoned. Everything. To be honest, this is one of my favorite locations because it makes me it makes me feel like I'm actually discovering something that has long been forgotten, and I'm just going, you know, in a tomb or a mine or. Um, oh look, you already have a, a boss right there. Well, one of those guys. Now this one, it's the shrine. The shrine, it's next to this, uh, next to this massive uh, scar city. It's all the way at the at the edge of the map between uh, Eastern Reach and uh, Valley of Tarsis. If you go on the right as much as you can, uh, you will find the the location. It's next to next to that. Um, waypoint. Well, kind of waypoint. Now the entrance is right here. It's a bit hidden, so make sure you go in one of these massive towers. Just go there, and then you will see that uh, that little entrance if you look around. Um, like I mentioned before, the good thing is the location will show up when you are um, close to it. Uh, for this one, legendary missions. I believe we we are doing them here. Some of them. So you should be really familiar with the location by now if you tried the legendary missions uh, since the patch came out. The Mandible is another one of these uh, these hidden places. Um, you should see this massive tower um, in um, in your area, and then look for look for the entrance. It's it's this one right here. It's next to the hollow. Uh, it should be almost in the center of the map. Not uh, not that hard to find. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you pass through this place many times when you do your, your free play world events. Uh, but let's go inside. Let's see how it is. It's mostly full of scars. So if you are if you have a, a daily trial or some quest that you need to kill a lot of scars, go to the mandible. You'll you will 100% uh, find them there. Uh, let me just quickly go straight ahead. I'm sure you will uh, you will see them. Now oh, there we go. So everyone is right here waiting for you. Um, very useful for completing daily challenges. Next we have waterfalls and secret secret entrances in the Valley of Tarsis. So the heaven it's literally on the bot bottom of the map um, next to the uh, next to the citadel. Now if you look around here, you you will see some waterfalls in a in a small gap between them. Just go straight ahead. Um, I always use this massive statue as a, as a point of reference, so I won't get lost in case I really want to look for it. Uh, but if you go on the statue or in front of it, look for that small gap just below the um, below the waterfalls. You will see it. Let's go. Uh, let's go straight ahead. Now inside here, it looks quite nice. You will find quite uh, quite a few things to salvage, um, a few enemies. It's it's actually quite nice because you can always find legendaries. The Bane Engine. The Bane Engine is one of the one of the monuments in um, in the map, um, like the Eden Tree. Uh, we have the monuments monument watch right here. It's, uh, so the Bane Engine. I always go where the massive statue, where the massive construction is. From here, if I go up, I should see the entrance. So obviously it's not this one, but from here, I should see this uh, this gap straight ahead. So if I look for it, if I go straight ahead, uh, I'm just gonna go inside. Once inside, just travel a little, just fly around a little, because you'll have to go through through some small gaps just to go all the way to the end. Uh, if you've been here before, fantastic. You can just um, just move on, but if you haven't, this is a really really cool lo location because it's really different from the other ones. Um, you know, you have the uh, the vault, or you have the shrine, or you have the, the hollow. But this one, it's it's almost like a cave, and you have to go through through all these small gaps to um, to find the end. The next one I want to talk about is the um, the necropolis. The necropolis is next to the east gate. So you see straight in front of me, you will see um, that little gap. That's the gate. Um, now that's called east gate. If you go next to it, this this little entrance right here, this little um, circle, 
if you go straight ahead and if you go all the way down the um, the entrance for the necropolis should be just behind you um, it's quite nice inside actually it's uh, it's mostly full of dominion if you have daily trials that involve um, those kind of enemies just uh, just go here to it but I'm pretty sure you've been here before because of the, um, the world events getting close to the finish we have the uh, the hollow the hollow it's close to the high road right here um, it's uh, close to academy ruins as well um, but it, it's it's like a hole in the ground pretty easy to miss if you don't know what you're looking for what I use is um, this um, this hole right here so that is the the hollow if you go straight ahead um, even the mushrooms around you because they're full, they're full of poisonous gas I use them as a reference point sometime uh, because as soon as I see a mushroom I can see um, the other ones as well and it it will get me closer to, to the entrance. Now inside you will find more poisonous mushrooms full of acid but if you go all the way to, to the end um, you will find quite a, quite a lot of enemies, some powerful ones as well. Lastly we have the foundry. The foundry is in Emerald Abyss. Um, Again, you've been near it many times. It's a bit hard to show you the exact location, uh, as in to, to have a reference point. I always use this massive rock uh, because I'm just above the trees and below there are only only trees. So I can't really show the entrance from here. But if you use that um, massive, uh, massive rock, the entrance should be just under it. And you can go straight ahead here. Pretty much that, uh, that was it. Um, thank you for, for watching, I will see you in the next video and let me know if these locations were actually useful to you or if you knew about all of them. For example, I didn't know about the dungeon uh, until I actually went there to discover it, it wasn't on my map and I actually think these locations might be really nice for, for some people. It, uh, it helps you play the game um, more and not just to do the, the world events and the things I mentioned before.